Hi everybody, it's Dr. Mona Gohara. Welcome to another episode of Dear Derm. All right, so let's talk about dark circles. I have dark circles, I struggle with dark circles. I know what a pain dark circles can be because they always make people think that you're tired when you're not. That's just the way you are. So there's two causes for dark circles under the eye, pigment and blood vessels. Pigmentary changes under the eyes can be genetic and are very different amongst different races. For example, Middle Eastern or Southeast Asian people can have just genetically dark circles under their eyes. I'm Egyptian and practically everybody in my family has the same thing. It's something you see very commonly among certain ethnic groups. Now, the blood vessels are a different story. As we get older and our eyelid skin thins, the blood vessels under the skin become more apparent and actually come through as a dark or bluish hue creating discoloration under the eyes. So each one kind of has its own unique cause um, and each one has different treatments. So the first thing you obviously can do is conceal it, right? If you have hyperpigmentation under your eyes, you can always use a concealer to try and get rid of, or make it, you won't get rid of it, but you'll make it less obvious. The next thing we recommend for hyperpigmentation under the eyes are creams with caffeine in them. Why? Because caffeine constricts the blood vessels, and when the blood vessels are constricted, remember we said sometimes that hyperpigmentation comes from blood vessels, it becomes less obvious. Another way to, to treat it is to use the, the methods wherein we use to treat hyperpigmentation on the face. Those are things like vitamin C and retinoids, which can safely be put under the eyes if you just use a small amount, but they have a brightening effect, and so that discoloration is a little less obvious. Remember we talked about the fact that eyelid skin is thin and can therefore be more easily irritated. So use lower percentages, things that are a little bit more gentle. So if you may use a 20% vitamin C on your face, use a 10% vitamin C on your eyes. If you use a stronger retinoid on your face, bring it down a notch for under the eyes so the irritation is less, but the effect is definitely still there. So here are some options with some ingredients that we love for hyperpigmentation under the eye. I love color science. Total Eye 3-in-1. Why do I love it? Because it's not only a sunscreen, it's a concealer and actually has anti-aging properties as well. That's definitely one of my favorites. And then a great drugstore option is the Cetaphil Hydrating Gel because it has hydrating products like hyaluronic acid, but also things that can help target hyperpigmentation like licorice root extract. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Dear Derm, where we talked about all things eyes. Make sure that you leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good. See you next time.